Hey everybody, Angry Poncho here. And I remembered something uh, just recently. If you play with the ball enough with Tricky, he'll eventually change colors. Interestingly enough, he'll go from being this, uh, was it orange and purple? I guess you could say he's sort of like a tan and purple color right now. If you play with him enough, he'll actually change to like pink and purple, I think. And then from there, he'll change to blue and green. So, I mean, if you play with him enough and he levels up enough times, you can basically... He evolves, essentially. Although he doesn't actually, like, change besides really, like, color. I don't know if he... He might get a little bit bigger. I'm not really sure. But, uh... So, basically, yeah, I'm just going to do that. I'm going to play with the ball for a while. And, uh... We're just going to keep doing this until Tricky goes through both of his little evolutions. Whoa! That was cool. Oh, so now he's like green. Dude, he looks like Barney. Oh my god. He's green and purple. Here, back up a second so I can get a look at you, Tricky. Look at him. He's green and purple now. Oh my god. Alright, where'd the ball go? Let's keep going. Whoa, he did it again. I didn't get a cutscene for that, but dang. Look at him, he's green and blue. That's crazy, look at that. He just looks weird. I wonder if I can get him to change again. Ooh, I'm afraid if I do it some more, he might actually change back to his original colors. I'm not entirely sure. I think I'm going to leave him green and blue, because he looks kind of funny like that. Awesome. Alright, well, now <laughs> that's done. Let's go talk to the warp stone. Get back to the business here. I think he'll stay like that for the rest of the game, too. So basically, you can pick which whichever the three color sets you want him to be. And just, if you don't want him to change, just don't ever play with the ball. Let's see, we need to go right to go to Krizoa Palace. Are you ready to go to Krizoa Palace? Yeah, laddie. And there's no sound here. <laughs> Who knows why? The cutscene gets sound. With a little warp in between, it certainly doesn't. Wow, 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 wow. Look at that. That's the warp that we walked past last time. Okay, I thought that was going to like send us to a shrine or something, but no, it looks like that's just uh, a shortcut. So we don't have to solve the puzzles at the beginning. <laughs> wow, were those guys there the whole time? They, they didn't even go after me. That's pretty bad. Yeah, but that teleport just looks like, a, it looks like it's just a shortcut so that we can get out here uh, more quickly. Alright, now the only thing we did have now that we didn't have last time is going to be the sharp claw outfit. So I get the feeling we just need to figure out where we need to take that. And that's going to be the floor we want to go on. But I don't... I can't immediately look around and spot one. So I'm just going to drop over here and look on this floor. I'm not even sure which floor this is. Look around. Hey, this is it! Wow, I picked the right one! Awesome! Yay! Open the door. Now we can drop the spirit. Can we do, can we do this with a sharp claw? Oh, I didn't think so. It's worth trying, though. And poof! Another Krizoa spirit gets spat out of the fan. And now we will have three going in a circle up there. I'm not sure why it shows like one less than what we actually have. Yeah. We've gotten three of them now. Oh, time to get sucked into his mouth. Awesome. And we're tumbling and spinning on our acid trip. Gosh, I'm, I'm opening two games that have acid trips in them right now. Jeez. Of course, Sorokachan thinks that the entire uh, game of Super Mario Sunshine is just one giant acid trip, so... That's not hard to explain. Hey, Tricky's green. Looks so funny. What's wrong with you? Cool. Can do. So do we have to shoot these guys, or do we... I can't use my magic? What the hell? You staff out. I guess we have to just hit them. This isn't going to be bad. If we stay in the middle, we can just easily circle around and knock them all out. Oh, there's a hole here. Nice. Okay, that's what this is going to get us. Nice. I wonder if it's a new power or if it's a uh, magic upgrade. You can't tell until you get in there. 
and you either see the water or you don't. So I'm being pretty uh, aggressive going after these guys. I'm getting a, a bit away from the middle, but I'm only doing so when I know that there's nobody right near the middle at that time. Because I don't know how many eggs you can actually let them take, but ideally you, you, I mean, you don't want to let them take any, right? I mean, unless you're an asshole. But we're not going to be like that. We may beat Tricky occasionally, but it's only because he deserves it. We don't have a vendetta against dinosaur eggs. So basically, we're just going to keep circling around and smacking these guys whenever... I'm just going to kill like whichever one is closest to the eggs. Because that's, that seems to be the most effective strategy for keeping them away. If, you, if you're constantly going after whichever one is closest to the eggs, then you're never going to have one manage to get an egg and take it off. Because you, you, you're not going to be distracted by the ones that are farther away. And I know you can't really see the ones on the bottom left and then lower and the lower right sometimes, depending on where I'm standing in the room. But there's enough leeway here that I think I could just stop now and they wouldn't get any. Honestly. But that's it. You have saved my egg from those evil creatures. Yes, I have. Please let me repay you. Hmm. Oh, uh, sure. I believe inside there is something that you see. You're awesome. You're a good mom, you know that? Alright. Get in the hole. Dude, we gotta take our staff into the hole. That's freaking hilarious. That just occurred to me. Uh, <laughs> hey, it's a new power. Awesome. Which is a door opening thing, isn't it? I feel like that's what's gonna come next. Maybe. That sounds right. Because we're not getting the other one yet. I know what the other one is. Yeah, the portal. Oh my god. Portal device. Seriously? You can open portal doorways. Yeah, basically. Allows you to open up portals. Uh, but only in like certain... Basically it's like, it's like a, a special like upgrade, like the key ability that this thing has. Where you can stick it into these certain doors we've been seeing. And then the door will open and we'll be able to go through. And behind the door will be a portal. The, the staff itself can't actually create portals like the portal gun from Portal can. There's a lot of portals in that last sentence. But uh, the reason I think of that is because I've, I've been playing Portal recently. I actually just beat it about like about an hour ago. I'd never played it before in my life until over the weekend we played it a little bit at Eric's house and then I forgot my save file over there. So I started again yesterday and played through as far as I'd gotten and then ended up beating it uh, just a couple minutes ago. So now what? Actually, I think now we need to go talk to the Queen Earthwalker. Because I think that we're going to head to uh, her home turf for too long. Because if you don't know, like the Thorntail Hollow is where the Thorntails live. It isn't. It isn't the Earthwalker's home. It's so nice to see you both, but I have some bad news. Sorry, I'm pregnant, and it's not yours. My father has been taken prisoner within the walled city. Is he okay? Fox, Fox, we've got to help him quick. He's right, Queen. Point us in the direction of the Gatekeeper, and we'll rescue him. I wish it were that simple. You see. Tricky's father is the gatekeeper. Dun 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 dun! Plot twist! No, that's all we need. Yes, and a wise one at that. When Scales came to our land, your father knew that the shark claws would come for him. And so he hid his gatekeeper powers behind this sacred seal. I'm sorry, but I cannot break the seal. Maybe you might have some idea. Hmm. I wonder what we should do now. Also, how did I miss this fuel stuff for so long? Alright, well, let's, uh, use the portal device. There it is. Open portal. That's trippy. Whoa! Magic portal opening powers! How the hell he did that is just completely beyond me. Apparently they're magical dinosaurs. And I take back what I said earlier. The uh, This actually might be the home of the, of the uh, Earthwalkers too. I'm not entirely sure. General Scales has to be stopped. Yes, he does. Why did I bother talking to you? Seriously? Dude, it's raining pretty good now, isn't it? Look at this. I've never, had it, I've never seen it rain like this here. I wonder if this is plot related. So I don't remember it ever doing this before. Got lightning and everything, man. Alright, well, in the next episode of Let's Play Star Fox Adventures, 
We are going to get in the R-Wing and fly to the walled city. And we are going to fight the Red Eye Tribe, which if you know uh, what they are, you know that this is going to be freaking epic. So I'll see you guys next time.